Good morning, Dingles Crypto. What another crazy day it was in the crypto markets. I mean, 20% down for Bitcoin, 20, 25% down for Ethereum, 25 plus percent down for altcoins. People that are just entered the market newly into crypto getting crushed because they entered at 40k they're they're sad but you know what i think this was a blessing in disguise for them because a pullback was imminent and if they were buying at 40k they sure as hell should be buying at 30k because nothing has changed fundamentally except the price and if they were buying they should be happy so if you see people sad about a 20 25 percent correction but they were still buying at 40k and now they're sad to see a correction. They need to, if you are like that, and I hope none of you watching are like that currently, they need to maybe take a step back and reevaluate their position and their mindset because that's not the right mindset going into a market like cryptocurrency, right? When you see a pullback in a project you like, that's the time to maybe start dollar cost averaging, right? So today in this episode, we will be covering Bitcoin and why you should not be bearish whatsoever or worried. This, this pullback was imminent and expected. But if you want to subscribe, you can keep up with the latest crypto news updates as well as DeFi exploration. We do in-depth DeFi exploration and we're almost to 1,000 followers, guys. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that like button. And let's just jump right into it. So once again, Bitcoin at 34,000, almost 35,000. Saw a strong support off 30,000. But I... <laughs> I could definitely see us making a head and shoulders pattern and then all the technical analysis experts especially short-term technical analysis experts will be like oh no we're going down head and shoulders pattern and then Bitcoin just bitcoins and just crushes all the shorts right uh, people on leverage exchanges setting shorts and then and then exchanges just absolutely crushing it by uh, pumping it and maybe making a, another bull flag I don't know what's going to happen, but I would love to see that. It would just make my day because I love crushing Bitcoin shorts. Um, I mean, that's the worst trade to enter in the last decade. Bitcoin shorts. There's no reason to do it. Um, next is Ethereum. I mean, $1,055 minus 15%. Uh, I think once again, it just follows Bitcoin. I think we will break loose in the future. Maybe... Uh, it's tough to say it is tough to say I mean I definitely would like to see ethereum rally against Bitcoin for sure now let's go into more technical analysis I'm not into short-term technical technical analysis I just want to bring this up because the only thing I really pay attention to ever is the 20 week moving average because it's just a historical line of support and resistance throughout the history of Bitcoin. And if you go back to 2017, which I believe 2021 is a similar, a similar, a similar uh, year in the cyclical cycle of Bitcoin, right? So we went from 1200 to 700 and hit the 20 week moving average and then used it as support for a while until we hit that parabolic stage right so that was about minus 30 35 percent and january this year we saw minus 20 percent we could see another red candle down and hit that 20 week moving average and one reason why i like this pullback is because if we if we hit the 20 week moving average while it's steep it's less likely to hold as support versus if we consolidate and the 20 week moving average slows down and gets flatter it's more likely to act as support so that's exactly what i want to see is consolidation 20 week moving average comes up and flattens out and then we hit that as support and bounce off of it to all time new highs that would be perfect we do need some consolidation because it's just been a crazy market so far i'm not selling i don't know who's selling right now but i'm not selling and now this is 2017 38 percent that's the the bubble we just looked at the little uh 
the little crash, 38%, 34%, 32%, 42%, 40%, 31%, casual, 25%. Guys, this is all in the parabolic stage of Bitcoin's 2017 run. And in the cyclical cycle, like I just said a million times last episode, I mean, 2021 should have similar performance as 2017. Obviously, you should see... um, marginal returns because obviously if there's a lower market cap in 2017 you should see higher returns than a larger market cap bitcoin today in 2021 should see so keep that in mind angelo btc this is the first time i have ever seen his face and he showed his face while he's losing millions <laughs> but let's just read this in a jungle watching my net worth plummet by millions i feel nothing I can remain solvent longer than this market can remain irrational. 46K is programmed. Stay safe, homies. He is a beast. He's the best crypto trader in history, in my opinion. I mean, he he makes millions. He makes million dollar trades all the time. Uh, he's one of the best crypto traders in history, and obviously, the best trade in history in the last decade is Bitcoin longing. That's that's how he made his money right there longing bitcoin time after time now let's go into bitcoin one hour in search of higher low obvious obviously and rsi bull diversion present so he was taking some longs here rsi bullish diversion diversion and uh, you can see it here so lower low higher low lower low lower low which is opposite so obviously rsi diversion is right there we're looking at a lot of graphs today but i mean that is a bullish signal right there and obviously following that we saw a pump to thirty-five thousand. so that is something to consider uh lark davis says 30k establish itself as a nice support range i i mean that's just an obvious fact right there but one thing i do want to say is is head and shoulders question mark i mean i would i really look forward to head and shoulders pattern because then bitcoin just bitcoins and we just break out and just short kill all the shorters that's my favorite thing. So Bitcoin Jack says no significant exchange inflows of Bitcoin. So if you look at the exchange exchange inflows for Bitcoin, there was no there's no significant selling. Six hundred thousand Bitcoin traded today on pairs I track daily holding. In light of keeping it simple, if this retraces all the way and breaks out, it will run turbo squared. I mean, it is a roller coaster, guys. Bitcoin is a roller coaster. I don't trade it because short-term price action of Bitcoin is very, very hard to trade. And it's just not worth the anxiety or stress. So I just long-term hold. And you know what? It's worked out for me. I haven't sold any. Um, I sold a little bit of Ethereum. I sold like 10 Ethereum. And that's just all I've sold so far. So, I mean... I sold them around a thousand dollars a piece, and and now I, I I'm just I'm just holding the rest for the rest of 2021 unless we see Ethereum at five thousand. I might sell a little bit at five thousand, but um once again just in the number of ad- addresses holding a thousand Bitcoin just reached an all time new high. So who's buying right now? The whales. The whales are buying, guys. Stop selling to the whales. I swear to God, if one of you guys sell your Bitcoin to the whales that are buying on this dip, come on, come on, come on. And who are the whales buying? I'm all in, Michael, especially on this dip. Anthony Scarmucci. Scar fucking Moochie, guys. Don't sell to him. Anthony Scarmucci don't need, does not need any more Bitcoin. God dang it. Keep your Bitcoin for yourself. Stop selling. Stop selling and just hodl Bitcoin. He is Skybridge Capital's uh, founder, and he's a, he has a hot wife. Look at this wife. I mean, she looks pretty hot. Shit. That's what happens when you hold Bitcoin. You have a hot wife, guys. Come on. Stop selling. 
Stop selling. God dang it, guys. Uh, bear market, CNN reports. Bitcoin plunges more than 20% in three days. It's now a bear market. News to me, guys. Jeez. I thought we were still in a bull market. We are not in a bear market until we, until Bitcoin goes below the 20-week moving average and then we retest it and it's resistance. That's the definition of a bear market. When we break 20-week moving average and then it's resistance, right? That's a bear market. That's a bear market. Then we broke all the way down capitulation. We broke through and then we broke through a second time and then a third time. And one thing that was interesting to me, the first cycle, we broke through the 20 week moving average once and then we saw it as support. The second bull market was, was back here. We broke through the 20 week moving average twice, right? And this is the third cycle and we broke through it once. Then we broke through it twice and then we broke through it three times. So maybe next cycle we will be looking through four breakthroughs of the 20 week moving average. Uh, we'll see. That's just kind of like a general pattern that I've noticed. But I'm just uh, just kind of like patterns, you know? Uh, you know what I'm saying? But Bitcoin, I mean, he, they just made a click clickbaity title and then you read the article and they're basically still bullish on it, guys. I mean, this is not the time to panic but to look at this opportunity from a more optimistic lens as this bull run is not over yet and it is still likely to make its journey to the upside and then you look at the you look at the comments should not true logical that's not a bubble okay so maybe i was reading a different a different uh tweet but here we go, guys. Dingle Barbecue once Bitcoin hits $100,000. This shit looks lit. And we're going to have a uh, silent disco barbecue, guys. I'm going to be cooking. You guys are just going to be dancing. Uh, it's going to be lit as fuck. And we all better pull up in Teslas. Or the Cybertruck. I'll bring my dingle, uh, dingle ice cream truck, and we can all just uh, barbecue together silently and dancing. <laughs> Yo, that's gonna be so fun. Uh, but anyways, that's all I have for you today, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you watching. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. Absolutely insane. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a fantastic day. And. If you want to join the Discord, join the Discord in the description as well as my Twitter account, Dingle Crypto, in the description and my personal Twitter account also in the description. I appreciate each and every one of you and Dingle Dingle. Peace out.